That's Dwayne Gully Queen Jones doing what he loved, dancing. The 17-year-old became another one of Jamaica's over 500 murders since the start of 2013. However, his brutal slaying at the hands of an irate mob in Irwin St. James has brought Jamaica yet again under the glare of the international spotlight. Because a straight man and up on the road at LOJ with the one night and they claim say we're not a size up in a day away, we must go on with own we are so. So we and him catch up now so and me and him get in our dispute. Everybody run and so me defend myself but see then did have one stone he cut up me and I see big old boss in my head side. But mm -hmm. the not can see but yeah, yeah, yes. so also so probably me could defend myself then kill we have That's the Dwayne Jones alive at seventeen met at Albion Court, St. James at the end of May. A handsome young man trying to, with the help of his friends, his now chosen family, navigate through the cold streets of Montego Bay. He had been kicked out of his home and chased out of his community. And at the time we met him, he and three gay friends were squatting in an abandoned government house in Albion. We are all behind our one another. We are like one family within yes. four it, brothers. These are my family. We have no one family. behind us. Jones already knew that his homosexuality marked him for death. He'd been threatened enough by the police in Montego Bay. And day when they come, one, one of them was really, you know, all type group that was have one flighty one. One of the and next to us said this is our firm one and so in next one they pan just let them up and I just shoot them because they have a right side. Almost two months later, Jones was brutally murdered. On July 22, Jones, dressed in full female clothing, attended a street dance as Gully Queen. With dance moves that rivaled those of any dance hall queen, he caught the attention of a man who decided to dance with him. But soon, a woman who knew Jones was male let the cat out of the bag. He was surrounded by a group of persons demanding to know whether he was a man or a woman. He insisted he was female. His friends, his constant companions tried to get him out of the crowd, but despite the attempts to flee, the crowd gave chase. His friends barely managed to escape. One took shelter in a nearby church. However, Jones wasn't so lucky. He was beaten, chopped, stabbed, and shot. The police found his body in the bushes the following day. His parents, who still live in Montego Bay, have refused to claim the body. The local gay lobby group, JFLAG, says they will give him his final rest. And going into four weeks since his murder, the police still have no leads in the case. So no one has yet been charged. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in May, one of Jones's friends just wanted to leave Jamaica. But I have fight. I have fight for rights too much. My 27 now, from me, from me know myself, me a fair fight. From my 12 year old, me a fight for myself. Me and no mother, no father, nobody back on me. And it, 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 get to a, it reached to a state in which me just say, uh, basically just migrate and go somewhere else, but if we can't live more comfortable. Jones, however, had no other option but to fight until the end.